This morning, as a new Netflix series and documentary brings renewed attention to the Menendez brothers case, their legal team is set to join forces today with nearly two dozen of Lyle and Eric's extended family members as they call on the state to take a fresh look at whether they should stay behind bars for the double homicide. It's been 35 years. If these were the Menendez sisters, they would not be in custody. Despite the public pressure campaign, including some famous names now weighing in, the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office says no decision has been made yet about whether it supports resentencing for the brothers, who were convicted in 1996 of killing their parents. Saying in a statement to NBC News, once a decision has been reached, the family members of the victims and the public will be notified. At the heart of the matter, allegations of abuse by their father, something the brothers raised at their first trial, which deadlocked. I told this to tell Dad to leave me alone, <laughs> and he keeps touching me. But was largely excluded from their second trial, where they were convicted and sentenced to life in prison. Among the pieces of evidence now being reviewed by investigators and part of their petition for freedom, an affidavit from a former member of the band Menudo, accusing their father, Jose Menendez, a high-powered music executive, of rape, which was detailed in the Peacock docuseries Menendez and Menudo, Boys Betrayed. Jose Menendez me dijo, toma este vino. Es un vino carísimo. Y tomate toda la taza. Something the district attorney says he couldn't ignore. But for the documentary, quite frankly, we probably would not be talking at this point. But prosecutors originally said Eric and Lyle killed for money, and their mother's brother, Milton Anderson, says they deserve to remain behind bars, writing, they plan to murder their parents only after they learned their dad was taking them out of the will. Their motive was pure greed. Well, it's obviously getting a lot of attention yes. right now, but these are very high hurdles for a legal case. So is there any chance they could get released? I think the big question is what does the DA do? Because as we mentioned, he is facing a tough uphill battle in his own re-election. He's down in the polls and it's unclear how the public is going to view this and how this is going to play. He's getting pressure from the likes of Kim Kardashian and Rosie O'Donnell. At the same time, online detectives are also supporting their bid for freedom. But legally, it's really going to come down to whether that evidence should have come in at the second trial as it goes to their culpability. Wow, it should be interesting. Okay, Laura, thank you very yeah. much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.